All right, guys, welcome back to video number two. Today, we're going to be talking about Direct Music Service, directmusicservice.com, also known as DMS. In this series, we're actually reviewing all of the record pools that I'm a part of. And you know what? I'm actually even taking requests for record pools that you guys are a part of if you guys want me to actually review them. DMS is one of the premier record pools in the United States as well in the DJ industry all over the world. So it features some really incredible remixers such as Jason Janai, Scooter, Audio One, and many, many others. Some of you might even recognize Danny Diggs from the old Crooklyn Clan days when Danny Diggs was always in the top three, top two, and sometimes even the number one remixer on that site. Crooklyn Clan was like literally the place you used to go to to get all the best freaking mashups and remixes that you could find in the market. Like it was top, top tier. So today we're going to navigate through direct music service. It's pretty easy. I think you guys are going to like it. Make sure before we do that though, you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course hit the notification button if you guys want to see more videos like this. So without further ado, let's dive in. As always, we're going to talk about the subscription services. DMS is by far the most strict and unique service that you can get primarily because they have different subscription packages, which allows you X amount of downloads and gives you a yearly subscription as opposed to just doing month to month. As you already see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Here are the packages. You have your starter package at $30 a month, which only gives you 40 downloads. If you do it yearly, it costs you $270. You get a bit of a discount for about 25%, but still only 40 downloads per month. For semi-pro, you get $45 a month for 80 downloads, so a little less than double the cost uh, for double the downloads, so that's a little bit better. But of course, the one that they're going to want you to join is the pro account. The pro account is, quite honestly, very expensive if you decided to do the monthly version, but yearly it's $450, and you get unlimited downloads every single month. Out of all the subscriptions they offer, I personally belong to the pro account. I chose the pro account because since I'm a full-time DJ, this is how I feed my family, make my money. Uh, this is exactly how I need things done. I need access to everything possible. Give me as much ammunition as possible to be the best entertainer I could be. Now, to me, $500 a year uh, is really not that bad, considering that I make that back in less than one job. So let's dive into the record pool itself. DMS is a pretty straightforward download service. Now, one of the biggest things I have to say is that their music library is extensive. And I mean really extensive. It even says up here, DMS is a total of 57,194 files and 54 were added in this week alone and we're only in Thursday. So clearly they have a ton of music for you to choose. One of the things that you'll see right up front is that it's a list of tracks. You'll also see that um, they're not really categorized into groups. So in other words, you'll have, let's say, two tracks where it says clean and dirty on, you know, on top of each other, as opposed to something like DJ City, where you can actually go to an individual page and see all of the different um, versions of that track in one section. This is literally just in a list view and it goes down all the way till, yeah, literally, I don't even want to hit oldest. I can only see how far it goes. All right, so a couple things I like. It is color-coded. I like the color co coordination primarily because it, if you somewhat memorize these color codes, you'll know exactly what kind of track it is. Um, obviously, green's hip-hop. You can see the genres right on the left-hand side, and it kind of breaks it down for you. Another thing that I love about this is their custom search. The custom search is a filtration system that really is more advanced than almost every single one of the other record pools that I belong to. So let's just dive in. Let's say I wanted to look for reggae music in the 90s and early thousands, right? And I want to stick with a BPM, which I check here, somewhere between, I don't know, let's say 90 BPM to let's say, uh, I don't know, let's go 110. So once I do that, it's going to populate everything within those categories. And I am going to see that it really comes up with a lot of good stuff. Obviously. You can preview each track as usual, right down here, right? 
And another thing I like about it is that it doesn't just give you a limited preview. It actually gives you up to uh, a significant amount for each track. I think it's different for each one. Yeah, like that one was 205. This is 3 minutes and two, 25 seconds. So you could literally listen to how almost the entire song is and then decide if you like it, if you're that type of person. Downloading super easy. You just click the arrow button. There's no rating system. You don't have to do anything like that. You just basically hit the download and it goes directly to your downloads folder. I also like the top downloads feature. The top downloads feature is real simple. You could do it by last week, last month, last three months or six months, and you could do it by all time of decades. Now, let me give you an example of how I like this. I like the decade portion because let's say you're trying to create your list here. You're trying to create a, a crate for, let's say, 90s music. You can go to 90s, hit go, and these were the most popular songs in the 90s, literally. And you can download all of this if you have the pro version, and now all of a sudden you have an individual crate that says 90s hits. So obviously I think you guys will see the use of this that if you're a beginner DJ, if you invest a little bit of the money up front and you have no music, this is probably, no, I'm going to say it is the best record pool for you to join if you just need music, to, you know, at scale. Like literally, if you just want to download as much useful music as possible, DMS is the best record pool to join, in my opinion. So the playlist section is updated literally I, like every week, every time I check, there's something new. There is one every month where a featured DJ actually gives their favorite playlists, and these are the tracks that they actually recommend you listen to, download, and use because they've tested it and they agree that it works. Definitely keep up with these playlists because you'd be surprised how useful they are if you're in a really quick bind and you need to know like what's, what's trending or what's really needed uh, for events. These are really going to guide you. Checking out trends is extremely important, guys. I can't stress that enough. Trends is what really is going to determine what kind of music you're going to play to the masses and, of course, to the clients that you're basing it. If you're a club DJ, knowing what's on YouTube, knowing what's on the radio uh, is extremely important. If you're a mobile DJ, knowing what is popular in, like, you know, TikTok videos and um, Instagram, stuff like that is super important. So blogs are really, really useful, and, I, you know, I, I encourage you to check them out in every record pool that you're part of. Here are a couple things I don't like. A couple things I don't like about this is that it is really, really top 40 based. Um, they also just throw in a lot of music just because the music is there. And because there's so much music, it is going to create a good amount of work for you to filter through all of this stuff. And as you can see, I'm just scrolling halfway through and you're seeing a lot of repetitive uh, music, a lot of, you know, songs that you probably would never use. I'll be real with you. Um, but it is extremely important to notice that with more variety comes more opportunity. And if you're willing to take the time out to actually filter through all this yourself, you could find some really, really, really good stuff in here. I'm not a big fan about the layout. I think the layout could be a little more modern and uh, digitized where, you know, grouping individual tracks together, having a drop down menu, um, being able to preview on the side. I think all of this is just useful stuff. But again, this is just me being picky. This is my style of being able to look through a website. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but if you do, this is just something you want to consider before subscribing. Also, I have to say their app is not really up to date. It's actually very glitchy from what I've experienced, but let's take a look at it. So I jumped into the DMS app here and I love the layout from the get-go. I love the multicolored vinyl and the genres. But other than, you know, the aesthetics of it, I'm not really impressed with it. And I'll show you why. If I pick on any of uh, these genres, such as house and electro, as you can see, it's just a list view, right? And it could be quite extensive and kind of cluttered. Obviously, you could click on it in a preview and you could favor it if you like it. You can skip through the song itself. Um... But other than that, there's not a lot of big you know, advantages to this app versus something like DJ City or even BPM Supreme. Um, the search, again, is just a very simple search. If you just type in like Hardwell for house, I'm just putting in a random artist. It'll search Hardwell and it'll find you all his stuff. But realistically, it's still very cluttered. You have to be very particular. And if you don't know what you're looking for, it doesn't help. Going to the top lists, same thing, you can see all the all top lists, you can go through that, the six month, the three month, 
all still the same design and layout. I mean, you guys, it's up to your own opinion. I personally think that they could do a little bit better with the design. It's also very glitchy. Uh, one of the things I realized was I would play a track, and if I left, if I left the scene, uh, it would actually keep playing. Uh, that was a glitch that I kept getting, and it was really, really crazy. Yeah, as you can see, I, I don't even know how to turn it off now. Yeah, so, there's that. So, that's the app. I'm not a big, big fan of the app. I think they could do a lot of different things to uh, make it much more user-friendly. But, again, it's just, that's my opinion. So there you guys have it. That was DMSDirectMusicService.com. Hopefully that me navigating through everything will help you guys determine if you think this is the right record pool for you. So for the end all be all, my final grade for DMS is seven out of 10. I chose seven out of 10 primarily because I'm not super, super crazy about the layout of the entirety of the website, but I have to say their music library is the most extensive out of all of the record pools I'm part of. So if you're just a new DJ starting out, make the initial investment. You're gonna wanna be able to download all of the music that they have. Believe me, there's unlimited options in there that you're gonna absolutely, absolutely love. That's it for me, guys. See you guys in video three, and make sure you guys hit that subscribe, like, and comment button. I'm John Devine, I'll see you guys next time.